Good morning, Good morning. To, you. to you. The birds, the birds. are chirping. <laughs> Started, please allow me to narrate what happened yesterday for you. First, I woke up and then I had to go to an interview. I'm headed over to an interview right now. I'm interviewing at the city of San Dimas to be a lifeguard. But my interview is at 10 o'clock and it's 9.40 and I just left my house and there's traffic on the freeway. I don't even live 20 minutes from San Dimas. I live farther. So, I'm not really sure how this interview is going to go. And I was supposed to bring all my like certificates for the um, for the interview like first aid certified, lifeguard certified, all that stuff, CPR certified. And I couldn't I don't know where any of them are in my house. Um, so I don't have any of them. After driving to my interview in San Dimas, which was super far from me anyway, they decided to tell me I went to the wrong place for my interview, but don't worry, it wasn't my fault. So, I I pulled up to where I was supposed to go. I had to go to the city hall in San Dimas. That's where my interview was gonna be. That's what it said in the email. That's what it said in the multiple emails that we all, or that me and this man uh, exchanged to each other. And I get here, and I give him all my paperwork, and uh, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go grab aquatics for you, since I'm, you know, applying to be a lifeguard. He's like, I'm gonna go grab aquatics for you. He's like, just, just wait right here. It might take a couple minutes. And I was like, all right, no problem. I don't really want to go in anyway, so just take your time. So I was just chilling, like, and then I was like sitting there for 15 minutes with no one coming up to me or saying anything. And I was like, okay, something's wrong. I was like, that's not cool. My interview was at 10, so. He comes out and he's uh he goes uh hey Connor and I was like what's up buddy and he's like so how do I say this uh, there was a miscommunication uh, on my part and I was like looking at him I was like uh huh go ahead and he was like so they wanted me to schedule you at the aquatic center which makes a lot more sense than me to go have my interview at the city hall to be a lifeguard instead of going to the aquatic center to apply to be the lifeguard i don't know that's just how my brain works like that makes more sense to me but he thought it would that could be a better idea for me to go to city hall and apply there so he goes uh here i printed up the instructions for you to get there and i was like i was like dude you're good just give me the address i'll put it in my cellular device i don't need it on a piece of paper and he was like, I appreciate your, uh, I appreciate your patience. And I was like, yeah, if I don't get this job, I'm coming back for you, bro. After going to my second location, I decided that I didn't really have uh, anything else to do today or that day. So um, I just decided not to film anymore. So that's what happened yesterday. I had an interview. Let's get started with today's vlog. Bam, and we're back. It is today. Today is Thursday, okay? So, I am on my way to school right now. I do have some stuff planned for today. Before we get into all that, let me tell you what's going on. So, I have a quiz today in math. I've been studying, and remember, my last test I got back, I got a 39%, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna scratch that, okay, because I'm a new person. I'm an adult, I have to do adult things, and that means studying for tests and quizzes, okay? I studied hard, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was studying this morning before I left to go to school. I was studying last night. I went to two sessions with my teacher to do tutoring this week. So if I don't get a good grade, I'm gonna I'm gonna 
fucking go fucking nuts because I'm trying. Like you guys can you guys can see it. I can see it. I'm putting in the effort and I'm just telling you guys I'm going to be freaking pissed if I don't get a good grade. Anyways, today is the day where my essay is due today. I don't know if you guys watched the video the other day, but I had an essay due and I was up till 5:30 in the morning doing it and then it turns out it wasn't due that day. Whatever. I did it today. I re I revised it a little bit. I'm going to turn it in. Then I have my quiz. After that, I do have some stuff planned. Um, I might be meeting up with Zach. I might be doing something else, but I am doing something today, so you guys look, get to look forward to that. I'm sitting in the traffic right now, usual traffic, going to Cal Poly Pomona. It's ridiculous all the time. Never rests. Always, always the same. So it doesn't really matter what time I leave my house. Just honestly, it's always the same. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm having a good morning. Um, and if it's nighttime already, I hope you guys had a great day today. Remember, do good. Don't be selfish today. Make someone else happy. Don't worry about yourself. If you make someone else happy, happiness will come to you. I'll see you guys after class. Peace out. Welcome back, you guys. Um, I just got out of class. I'm on my way home now. And I have something planned for when I get home. I didn't think it was going to be like immediately when I got home because I was going to go home and take a nap because I'm super tired. Same thing as uh, the other day, I I was in my math, my math class and I fell asleep again. So it's like it's a daily thing, honestly. Just I fall asleep and then when I start just literally scribbling all over my paper, thinking that I'm writing stuff, I just get up, go into the bathroom and sit there for like 15 minutes and just try and like reassess my entire life and try and not be tired anymore, which is like kind of impossible, but it works. Walk back into class and I just chill until it's over. But that's what happened in my math class. Um, we took our quiz. I think I did really well. I answered every question, which I haven't done on a test yet. I usually leave them blank or just put like a bunch of question marks as the answer. But I answered all of them, so I'm pretty happy. I think I did pretty well. Knowing me, I'm going to get it back, and it's going to be like a 3 out of 50, like honestly. Now that I'm like hyping myself up right now. Whatever, hopefully not. Um, but yeah, so I do have something planned. I'm going home. I'm going to eat something because I haven't eaten anything. And then hopefully the time gets changed because this is not up to me. This is a, one of my one of my friends. We're setting something up. Hopefully it changes the time to a little bit later because I want to like lay down for a little bit. Maybe like an hour. That would be perfect. Today's Thursday so I have no more school until Tuesday. I'm super stoked about that. I have midterms coming up, so I'm going to be studying this weekend. Studying this weekend. Yeah, another thing. I told you guys I like I love the cold weather because I have like a ton of um, clothes to wear. And it was super cold today. And I had on a sweater and I had on some pants, but it was still hella cold. Like, like at one point I almost asked my teacher to turn the heater on because I was freezing. And I don't know, literally this cold just came out of nowhere. It's been hot the past, like, nine months, and then all of a sudden, boom, it just goes to freezing. I mean, I'm not complaining, I like the cold, but I'm just saying, it's not It's not just sweater weather, you know? It's like, it's like full send cold weather. Honestly, it's like full send for the boys coldy. So I'm gonna have to start dressing up a little bit warmer. All right. Next time you guys are going to see me is when I meet up with the boys to do our activity we have planned. So, I'll see you guys then. Later. Alright you guys, so I told you I would hit you up um, after I met up with the boys. Right now it's not plural, it's just one. I'm hanging out with Zach right now, he's outside pumping gas, you can't see him from here. but um, We're about to go on a shoot. We we might be meeting up with someone else, his name's John. He uh, he shoots for Marshmallow, Martin Garrix, Odessa. He's just a uh, he's just a fucking superstar, honestly. So that's uh, I guess that's one of Zach's um, closer friends. So we might be meeting up with him. Uh, we were gonna go to Victoria Beach and Laguna. We changed our minds. We're gonna go to um, a state park, and we're gonna hit up some other local spots around us. Um, it is super cold outside. I changed my outfit. Give you a little quick look. I got the uh, off white. I just got these. I just got these pants in the mail like an hour ago. Here's Zach. What's up, bro? What's up, guys? 
So yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go hit up a state park right now and hit some other local spots, like I said. But um, yeah, it should be cool. It's super cold. The weather's nice. Um, me and Zach both like the cold. He's got his uh, nice ass sweater on. We're looking good today, boys. It's gonna be a full send for the boys today. Hey. Okay, you guys, we just took a little detour. We stopped at a local coffee shop, Cana Brew. Well, I need to fix this light. Yeah. What'd you get, Zach? Uh, ice vanilla latte. Ice vanilla latte. I got a vanilla latte too, but I got it hot. Like I said, it's uh, super cold outside. We're dressed in like, I mean, we're not dressed that warm, but our sweaters are pretty thick, so they're keeping us warm. Now we're gonna go get some action. All right, you guys. We got to our first location. Um, we already we already got like almost all of our shots done. Right now, I'll show you where we're at. We're on a pretty sick railroad track. We got a ton of cool shots going on over here. Zach just ran back to the car to grab a stabilizer. He's gonna get some video shots. Um, the shots I'm talking about are pictures. We're just taking pictures right now, and then. Like while we're doing these pictures, we throw in a couple of videos too. We'll just we'll just get them and then we'll combine them like later on. But he's going to go get a stabilizer because he has a he has a video shot in mind. So we're gonna get that done right now. But I just wanted to show you guys our first location. This was super random. We were on the freeway, and then um we were both like, hey, those railroad tracks look sick. And the sun like it's gone now, but when we were shooting, the sun was shining like right through, and it was just like perfect. But yeah, so that's where we are right now. Um, I mean, I'm telling you, like, we're, we're flipping out here, like, people are like, like, no, you're not out there, bro, but like, fuck. Yeah, we are, look at this shit. Oh, sh I cannot keep my balance. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, honestly. You just gotta always go full send. Go full send for the fucking boys all the time. Don't fuck around with that half send shit, like, that's not even funny. Full send for the boys, eh? Zach wants me to run after. This. Zach wants me to chase this train down for one of his shots. So I'm about to run after this train. Here we go on the tracks. I'm not a very fast runner, but uh, I feel like I could have caught it. So. Zach and I have just found ourselves, literally we went from Pomona, drove around randomly, found ourselves in Rolling Hills, and we were walking up a random hill. We're in, we're in a random neighborhood, and I'm out of breath already. This hill is steep. Oh my God, my cast. <laughs> oh God, we finally made it. Oh sweet, somewhere to sit down. Oh. oh. Nice, oh, I'm fucking playing that. <laughs> So gross. So we just got to the top, like I said, and there are these huge telephone poles up here. I'm debating if I should uh, try and climb up as high as I can and get a thumbnail for this video. They're huge. I'm scared I'm going to shock myself. Okay, I've told you guys this once, and I'm gonna tell you again. I'm a, I'm a full-blown savage. Okay, look, we're up here. Oh, my freaking tripod almost bent backwards. I'm up here on this tower right now. We got Zach getting up. And I'm just a big blonde chotch who doesn't care. Oh. Ow! Oh. You said, oh, I said, <laughs> Look how skinny this pole is. We're just killing time right now, waiting for the sunset. That's pretty much what we came here for. Dude, look at like there's like a hint of blue, like a hue of blue behind the on the like middle. So this is a little uh, it's a little hangout spot right here. We're just chilling. I'm literally getting my pants so dirty right now. Yeah, I got them today. Whoa. Uh, Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, my fucking tripod just broke. 
damn it. Whoa. Check this out, guys. Dang. Uh, what's going on, you guys? I'm I'm literally just pulling out of Zach's driveway right now and going home. Um, we left that area with uh, with the telephone poles because we wanted to try and like chase the sunset because where we were it wasn't good like I was saying and we did we went to go find it and well we didn't I mean we know where it was we weren't like looking for it we were trying to find a better area and when we went um, we, we got to this area where it would have been better but by the time we got there the sunset was gone and like all the clouds had turned like gray and like like black and it was just it didn't look good anymore so we went home um, it's only seven o'clock right now I'm kind of stoked, like I'm actually really tired. I slept on the way home, which is why I didn't film anything. I literally just left Zach to drive by himself. Um, but today was so much fun, like we were really out there, literally. We just drove around, it was it was so random. We drove around and we found tons of spots. So now I know where they are. And these are spots he had never been to either. So we both found new spots, so it was super cool. I really appreciate Zach driving around, that was awesome of him. Um, we got tons of sick pictures, tons of cool videos too. I can't wait to st I can't wait to make my videos finally. Like I've been focusing so much on the vlog that I haven't had time to make my edits, which is like like what I do. This vlog is just for fun, and my edits are something that like means a lot to me. And this is literally like I just put the camera in front of my face just because I kind of want to share like my everyday life with everybody else. And if nobody nobody watches, like I honestly don't care. Like this is literally just for fun. Um, but yeah, I'm headed home right now. I'm almost home. Me and Zach live like four minutes away from each other. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get editing on this vlog and have a have an early night. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'll see you in my usual outro spot in my room later. Welcome back to the outro area. Um, it is. 11.58 p.m. I finished editing the vlog minus this outro um, about three hours ago. I've just honestly been putting off making this because I've just I've just been watching like YouTube videos and just chilling honestly. Yeah, like I don't, honestly just didn't feel like filming anymore today. I've been super tired today and I guess that kind of like um, coincides with the end of the day lesson which it sh I've already used this one already but um, I feel like I want to use it again. Basically, like, there, like when opportunities arise, like, don't say no to them because you never know what's gonna happen. Like, would you rather have an opportunity come and you turn it down and regret it, or an opportunity come and you say yes, and either good things can come or bad things can come, but you're not gonna you're not gonna regret it. You know what I mean? Like, I got out of school today. Um, I didn't sleep a lot last night. Like, I don't really sleep a lot. So after I finished class, I was just so tired. And then the boys were just hitting me up, like, hey, like, let's go on a shoot, let's go, like, let's go adventure. And I was like, I was like, I, don't, I really don't want to. I kind of wanted to just go home and take a nap, but I'm super glad I didn't. Um, and honestly, that's what it's all about, like, just putting in the work, like, putting in the work, and you'll start to see results. I could have easily come home, turned down Zach, and told him, hey, buddy, like, not today. Um, I'm just going to go home and take a nap. But how does that how does that help me grow at all? And it doesn't. Like it doesn't help me grow at all. I could have I could have been lazy and come home because I was tired and taken a nap. Or I could have done what I did. Come home, edit everything that I had already done before school, during school, so that way when I come home from the shoot with Zach, I'll already have half the video done. So it's just those kind of things that you have to think about, like you just kind of setting yourself up for success. And honestly, that's that's what I'm all about. I'm all about success. Like, I want to be successful. Um, and this, this vlog has honestly nothing to do with, like, me, like, trying to be successful. This is literally just, like, showing... Sorry, I just got a... Just got a message. Don't worry about that, though. Um, this is, like, this video is... This vlog channel is just, honestly, me showing, like, my life. And I'm not saying I have like some special life because I honestly don't. Like it's just I just want to share with people, um, and whoever chooses to watch them, like that's awesome. If you 
don't choose to watch them, that's cool too. Like, it's not a big deal. I don't like sit there and like, like hope that I'm getting like a bunch of views. Like, I know I'm not. Like, I'm getting like 40 views a video, but it's not a big deal. Like, I'm still having a good time like putting out these videos because it gives me practice when I edit them at the end of the day. It gives me practice for the bigger picture. And the bigger picture for me is um, I'm majoring in communications in college and I want to use that as a, a foundation for my job in the future, which I want to promote for businesses over social media with videography. Because that's what I'm all about, honestly. Like, I've been, I've been filming my life since my freshman year in high school. Found a camera, absolutely fell in love. Just started filming everything. Skipping school, going to the beach just to film a wave. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, you can tell when something, like you're passionate about something and I'm passionate about filming and videography. So like this vlog channel is kind of like just practice for me. Just come over to the end of the day, edit the video. I try new things in each video. Like you can see in this video this morning, that was a, it was a long intro, but um, I liked it a lot. I thought it flowed really well. And it, it took me a little while to do, I mean, just putting everything together. But it was a lot of fun to do and I'm, it's giving me practice. Okay, back to the lesson. Don't turn on opportunities. You never know. Like you honestly never know. And if you say no, then you will never know, like ever. So just say yes when opportunities like that arise. If in the back of your head you're like, you know what, like, I know that can benefit me, but I'm just so tired, or I'm just so busy, I don't have the time. Make the time, it's possible. Today was cool. Hanging off that tower was cool. I don't know, I guess I just have a I guess I just have a habit of climbing things and hanging off of them, I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, that's awesome. And come back for the next one. Do good today. Make someone else happy. Do something today that is going to help you succeed in the future. That's it for today, you guys. Later. Oh.